Hey guys, it's your girl Naturally Nada here and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I do my nails at home. I only wear press-ons guys. I have been doing this for years. I would say two to three years. I do not go to the nail salon. I hate going. It costs too much money. It takes too long and it doesn't last long enough for me. So I am a press-on girl and you would be surprised at what press-ons you can find at the drugstores that are very beautiful. These are my favorite ones that I've recently discovered which are the Kiss Acrylic Natural Nails. I love these because you can paint them you can do anything that you could do with you know real acrylic nails on these paint them decorate them everything like that so I'm starting off by opening the package and as you can see it comes with a file and a little like wooden stick a poker stick um, that you can use for your cuticles I always push my cuticles back with this stick um, the flat end there's a flat end and then there's a really pointy end so I use the flatter side just to push my cuticles back so the false nails, the press-ons will lay nice um, on top of them. And then I take the file and I just file my nails because the uh, press-on will adhere better to your real nail when it's a little rough. So after I've pushed my cuticles back and I've roughened the, the nail bed a little bit with that file, I'm going to start to apply the nails with the glue that also comes in the pack. Everything you need is really in the pack, which is why I really like Kiss Press On Nails. But I'm going to start to apply them now. As you can see, I put a little bit of glue on the actual Press On Nail and then I put some glue on my nail bed. It does say in the directions to do those things, to do it on both the false nail and your real nail. Um, reading the directions is fundamental guys when I started doing press-ons I read the directions and it has helped me so much So I really uh, encourage you to read them because it gives you some good tips in there It really does the nails are numbered 0 through 13 0 being the biggest so that would be if you have a really large thumb and then um, All the way up to 13, which is the smallest pinky nail. I kind of know which nails fit which um, Which size nail fits which of my nails? because I haven't doing press-ons for so long. So I know I have like a, probably a five or a six on my on my pointer finger. On the thumb, I would do like a two, and um, I just match it for each hand. So if I do a two on this uh, thumbnail on this hand, I'll do a two on the other side also. So this is pretty self-explanatory, guys. So I'm just gonna let you watch. I also do push my cuticle back even further with a press-on nail. You'll see me do that because I want it to lay nice and flat and I want it to look as natural as possible. For polish, I'm going to be using a lot of polishes, three to be exact, from Emma Beauty. I'm going to be using her spring collection for the actual nail polish. I'm going to be using that beautiful lime green shade right here. These colors are so pretty, aren't they, for spring and summer? But I'm going to be using this one called VIP for free. I got a lot of their nail polishes, two spring collections, and also a few, like a base coat, a top coat, things like that from a PR package. And I have been loving these polishes, and they're very affordable. They're only like six bucks. So we're going to start off with the Stuck On You base coats, and I'm going to just put that all over my nails. This really makes them shine. You could actually just stop after this uh, step right here. 
you could really just wear the nails natural like this which is another cool thing about this kiss natural nails acrylic uh set you could just wear them like this with no polish on them but i'm gonna go in with a nail polish and i wanted them to be nice and uh shiny and this is supposed to help the nail polish adhere to the nail so now i'm going in with vip for free i'm going to start with a nice messy you know base coat and then i'm going to go over with a second layer to really get that pigment to pop but as you can see they are quite pigmented the the nail polish is quite pigmented even though i'm only going on with one layer so when you do bright colors sometimes it'll be very sheer um and you won't be able to see it and you can't build it up this one already first coat going on very very nicely Alrighty, so now I'm going to go in with the Emma Beauty Rock Hard Top Coat and I'm going to use that to go over the two layers of nail polish that I have done. Once again, it's going to add that shine and it's also going to make it last, make the nail polish last, not chip. This is basically, you know what they do at the nail salon. They always do all of these steps and from, you know, having gone in the past, I just try to do the exact same things that they do. And this really will make the uh, nail polish shine and look um quite professional you know not like you painted it yourself uh so i really like it i love all of these emma beauty nail polishes i highly recommend you checking them out so now i'm going in with these face gem stickers i'm not quite sure where these are from but i'll try to find something similar um these were a gift to me actually um so i don't know where she got them but they are going to come in handy right here so we are going to do a couple of accent nails on both hands so I'm doing my what my my right hand because I am left-handed so on my right hand I'm doing um, my thumb and I'm just taking the nail glue and I'm taking that pointer stick I'm telling you these sticks are really handy I kind of like keep a little stash of these because I buy so many press-ons I have like a whole stash I love these things you can use them for a lot of different a lot of different things so I'm taking you know just random sizes and I'm going to cover my entire thumbnail with these little gems This is what that looks like right there. So really, really pretty. And I've also started on doing my ring finger on the same hand on my right hand. And I'm going to do like a little different design with this one. I'm just putting one large one and then I'm going to surround that one with the smallest ones. So you can just do, you know, whatever you want. Just do what you want. Just cover the nail in some type of way with the gems. Use the nail glue because it really will help them stick. Even though these gems do have a little bit of stick on the back of them, which really makes it easy to pick them up. I still added the nail glue also and I kind of want to find a stronger glue because these did fall off after a couple of days not all of them just some of the some of them would randomly you know just fall off so I would recommend getting a, an even stronger glue I'm just not sure what so now we're moving on to my left hand on my left hand I also did my ring finger and then I'm going to do my middle finger also So for the last step, all I'm going to do is go back in with that rock hard top coat and go over the nails that I accented with the rhinestones. And that's just going to make them stick and last longer. It still took about three to four days for them to start randomly falling off, which I think is pretty good. And I feel like if I used a stronger glue, um, 
if they would have even lasted even longer and they do do this at the nail salon whenever they bling out your nails they'll go over with that top coat so i feel like that's the right thing to do so this is the finished look guys how easy is that i swear by press ons guys so if you are looking to save some money but still you know get that cute look and have nice beautiful hands um beautiful nails i highly recommend doing press-ons you can just pop these off if they get annoying and then you can do it again you're not tied down to the acrylics and this is way healthier for your nails so until next time guys i cannot wait to hopefully see you in my next video Bye bye